Trump just threatened to level them never, ever threaten the United States again. President Donald Trump stepped up and lashed out a warning reminding them not to ever mess with the United States of America or threaten this country ever again. The verbal warning was handed out via Twitter for everyone to see and was directed towards Iran. This comes briefly after the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, tried to caution Trump about going after what was labeled as hostile policies against Tehran. Rouhani mentioned that war with Iran is the mother of all wars but apparently he doesn't know that Trump has the mother of all bombs. The issue appears to be Iran not happy about being pressured into possible sanctions after the United States pulled out from their 2015 deal over Iran's nuclear program. It remains to be seen why and how Iran plans to counter any formidable force that the United States has. People might be wondering how Iran could ever stand a chance against the American military, but that might suggest Iran has some high-tech nuclear weaponry. Only those who need to know, know. Regardless, it has sparked a major response from President Trump and he did it publicly on Twitter. Addressing a gathering of Iranian diplomats, Rouhani said, Mr. Trump, don't play with the lion's tail, this would only lead to regret, the state new agency Erna reported. America should know that peace with Iran is the mother of all peace, and war with Iran is the mother of all wars, Rouhani said, leaving open the possibility of peace between the two countries at odds since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. You are not in a position to incite the Iranian nation against Iran's security and interests, Rouhani said, in an apparent reference to reported efforts by Washington to destabilize Iran's Islamic government. In Washington, U.S. officials familiar with the matter told Reuters that the Trump administration had launched an offensive of speeches and online communications meant to foment unrest and help pressure Iran to end its nuclear program and its support of militant groups. Current and former U.S. officials said the campaign painted Iranian leaders in a harsh light, at times using information that is exaggerated or contradicts other official pronouncements, including comments by previous administrations. Rouhani scoffed at Trump's threat to halt Iranian oil exports and said Iran has a dominant position in the Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz, a major royal shipping waterway. Anyone who understands the rudiments of politics doesn't say we will stop Iran's oil exports. We have been the guarantor of the regional waterway's security throughout history, Rouhani said, cited by the Sumi official is a news agency. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Saturday backed Rouhani's suggestion that Iran may block Gulf oil exports if its own exports are halted. Rouhani's apparent threat earlier this month to disrupt oil shipments from neighboring countries came in reaction to efforts by Washington to force all countries to stop buying Iranian oil. Oil is a big-time business and anything that messes with oil for any country usually leads to some sort of harsh negotiating and war talks. All of that is nonsense because at the end of the day the oil tycoons are rich and the customer is paying, which means there's plenty to go around for those in charge. What would the big-time people do without their customers? They wouldn't have anyone to buy the oil, which means any form of going to war is nothing more than a potential loss of revenue for the people who run the oil in our world. Was it daring for someone to lash out at America? Absolutely. Back when Barack Obama was president, that threat might have just been coward too. However, Trump doesn't like being talked to in a threatening way and he has no problem using social media to voice his opinions. After all, the guy is a major straight SR and says what he thinks and whatever he wants. He's not going to let America be threatened by anyone and he wants America first. That's part of the reason why millions of people voted for him. Now we wait to see what Iran's response is. Will